66 million years ago, an asteroid as big as Mount Everest was headed on a deadly collision course with Earth. The impact was so devastating that it wiped out the most gigantic, deadliest reptiles to ever roam our planet. But the dinosaurs didn't just die from one big boom. No, they faced a slow, agonizing end. How did this extinction event cause the largest tsunami Earth has ever seen? And what exactly happened after the big reptiles were gone? Hold on tight. We're taking you on the most epic and deadly trip of your life. This dinosaur-ending asteroid is terrifying. Not only was it about 10 kilometers in diameter, but it also traveled incredibly fast between 10 and 30 kilometers per second. At this point, it was a blazing fireball. As it hurtled down to Earth, the air in front of it was compressing and heating up to unimaginably hot temperatures. Just before the impact, the asteroid could have been as hot as the surface of the sun. Once it entered our atmosphere, it only took this massive space rock a few seconds to reach Earth's surface and alter the course of life forever. As the asteroid slammed into Earth off the coast of where Mexico is now, it sent huge amounts of debris up into the air. The shocking blast wave killed everything in its way, and from here it was only getting worse. Yeah, 66 million years ago, Earth was going through some rough times now. Right now our planet's not facing a giant asteroid, but we are facing increasingly severe environmental crises if you think it's time to fix our planet. Well, stick around for a fantastic video recommendation from our friends at Planet Wild. You don't want to miss it. This powerful blast ejected bits of the Earth's surface into the atmosphere, and minutes later scorching hot pieces of glass and rock rained back down. Some of the debris reacted with the atmosphere causing acid rain that would last for years. The land was burning the fires caused by this devastating impact spread across the continent like literal wildfire, killing more and more life along the way. And then just when you thought the apocalyptic scenario couldn't get any more intense, well it did. The impact of the asteroid hitting Earth was so powerful that it sent shockwaves through the planet, and all that energy had to go somewhere, cue the mega tsunami. A wall of water over 10 meters high raced across the ocean. This wasn't your regular tsunami. It was a staggering 30,000 times more powerful than anything you see today. As this monstrous wave spread across the North Atlantic and South Pacific coastlines, didn't stand a chance the wave hit with such force that it destroyed and reshaped the continent. If you were there to witness this apocalyptic destruction, well, you wouldn't survive any of it. But some dinosaurs did. Yeah, the ones further away from Ground Zero weren't immediately obliterated by the impact, they weren't incinerated by the resulting infernos, and they managed to avoid being swept away by the mega tsunami. But still, their fate was sealed. As the dust began to settle, it was the start of a nuclear winter. Even though it wasn't nuclear weapons that caused it, the effect was the same, the massive amount of debris in the air blocked the sunlight for months, maybe even years. Earth suddenly became a cold, dark place, and the dinos weren't ready for it as temperatures plummeted and fires released enormous amounts of greenhouse gases. The climate changed dramatically. Plants weren't able to perform photosynthesis, and most of them started to die out. This disrupted the food chain and starved many of the animals that survived the impact. And remember the acid rain. It lasted for several years causing more devastation to the ecosystems, the oceans became too acidic for marine life. Most ocean species didn't have the time to adapt to such a drastic change. These prolonged harsh conditions, together with the initial blast, pushed about 75 of Earth's life to extinction. The good news is, is that this included the horrifying T-Rex. Yeah, as much as I feel bad for this guy, I'm happy he's not running around today. When the last of the dinosaurs breathed their last breath, Earth became an empty, devastated place, cold and acidic. So when did things get back to normal? Yeah, well, here's the thing. They didn't not dinosaur era normal anyway. Earth didn't rebuild after that. It reinvented itself 1000 years later. The planet was recovering from the post apocalyptic winter. It was still cold and food was still scarce, but life was ready to make a comeback in this new wild world. A few furry little critters were sprinting around among the first plants to reappear after the impact were ferns. They really hit it off well after the disaster. 100 years later, Earth began to get a little more lively creatures about the size of raccoons were repopulating the continents, and the oceans were once again teeming with life fast forward about 10 million years. 
and Earth had finally restored its biodiversity. Only, it wasn't the same Earth as it used to be now. It was the age of mammals. Yeah, after the dinosaurs checked out, mammals were on fire. Yeah, not literally. Of course, mammals together with birds and flowering plants were rocking the planet. Yeah, Earth never got back to its old self after the last dinosaur died. It took our planet millions of years to bounce back in a new way. But don't get me wrong, this world was still pretty terrifying. It had beasts like Paraceratherium roaming the land and Megalodons reigning. Terror in the oceans. Yeah, it's really for the best that most of these creatures aren't around these days. You wouldn't want to face a Meg when you're out there swimming in the ocean. Even without bloodthirsty Meg sneaking around the oceans, today's Earth and its natural environments face a lot of problems. But it's not game over for our planet. Just yet, check out this new YouTube channel, Planet Wild. These guys are like real-life Avengers going out there to protect our planet, only instead of fighting otherworldly threats. They stay on this planet and get their hands dirty, rewilding it and fixing the damage we've done to our home. Every month, they release a video. In these ones here, they clean up the ocean from deep sea waste or transform a dying forest into a beautiful, strong ecosystem. It's an absolutely inspiring journey one that'll make you feel like you want to change the world. Big. Shout out to Planet Wild for doing amazing work and for encouraging all of us to do better. Don't wait, check them out. Let's let's save the planet and not go extinct like the dinosaurs.